Hello everyone, this is Tony Swain, Director of Training Education for Power Play. I'm here with Jessica, we're going to do the knee workout. Uh, now, a couple things on the knee workout. Um, first of all, there's always going to be people with all different sorts of knee injuries. So this is just a disclaimer, just to show you, we're going to show you some sampling exercises. This is, can be used as a bridging agent for somebody coming out of rehab, or this could be some exercise that you can do or program for people that are constantly having knee issues. So remember, these are just some sampling exercises. We are going to post a full workout on our uh, Facebook site. Hopefully you guys enjoy these workouts. We have fun um, making them. Can we hurry up and get down? I have to go tee off in three seconds. I mean, okay, yeah. all right. Anyway, um, so the first one we're going to do is a T hip mobility. So we're going to work on a little external internal hip rotation. So I'm going to have Jessica in basically a nice full stretch. She's going to reach that arm straight out with the leg. Now the setting, so what I'm going to have her do is and slowly rotate up little external rotation and then she's going to come back down slowly to neutral and then she's going to go ahead and collapse in the internal. So the setting here is going to be 30 seconds, 30 low, and we're just going to do that for our stretch. Okay, so she's going to maintain that same position for the full duration and then we'll switch legs. Okay, great. Next, so that's a warm up. We're going to go into a balance exercise. So I'm going to bring the pad over. And we're always talking about, you know, opposite arm, opposite leg, bird dog, wherever you, uh, kind of the name of it. So what we're going to do is actually add a little twist to it. So we're going to just get in position. I'm going to have her go ahead and put that on her back toe. Through. Yep. And then we're going to run this right through. So we're going to go that right inside the knee. And this is a, basically, it's a quadruped. It's resisted and it's a diagonal. So I'm going to be at 30 seconds or 30 low. And what we're going to do is she's going to then go up opposite arm, opposite leg, maintaining nice core stability. We're not going to move. And then she's going to hold for a couple seconds and then come back down. Now, depending on the length of the tube that you have, if you need to, you can always grab a little bit more away from the handle to get a little short up, a little bit of that extra slack. And she's going to maintain this position for 30 seconds. And then when that time runs out, we'll go ahead and switch sides. Okay? So this is resisted quadruped diagonals. Okay, while I have Jessica up on the plate, I'm going to grab this band and I'm going to give her two new ones. So we do quite a bit of mini walks. You guys probably do them in the gym all the time, but we're actually going to show you how to do them on the plate. So I'm going to bring two up. I'm going to have Jessica put one right around her ankles and the other one's going to go just above her knee. Okay, so make sure this might take some hair on the, on the way. So uh, get in position. Now you can do a number of different movements on it. And actually on the workout, um, we actually can do lateral, we can do um, forward and back, we can do some external rotation. So I'm just gonna show you lateral. So we're gonna get into 30 hertz, 30 seconds. And all we're gonna do is the position is she's going to drive. If we're going to the right, she's gonna drive opposite leg. And then she's gonna to step to the right, and then she's going to drive to the left. So you would think it's the outside leg that's doing the work, but actually we want the drive leg to be the outside and then drive push through. So she's gonna maintain this position and when people get tired, what is she gonna to wanna to do? She's gonna to wanna to come up. So make sure you stay in a nice deep position. You can hold on if need be, but progression to be where she's on her own. Okay, so this is for 30 seconds. Nice steady pace. Okay, great. All right, so warmed up the glutes. Now we're gonna move on to a nice combination movement, strength exercise. So she's taking off. I'm going to grab a deck. Now this one we're going to go right in the middle. We're going to give it a couple of inches between the plate. And we're going to have Jessica step up both feet. Actually we're going to have her tire shoe real quick just so in this movement we don't want her to trip. We are going to do a reverse step lunge with an opposite arm reach. So basically the premise is going to be she's going to start with both legs on the plate. If she's going to come and step back with the right leg, make sure you're a little bit to the left. And all she's going to do is when she goes back with her right leg to a reverse lunge, she's going to come up with her opposite arm. And she's going to maintain the same movement for 45 seconds. So we're going to go 30 low for 45 seconds. So it's a nice combination movement. We're getting the glutes, quads, kind of full movement pattern here. So when that time runs out, she wants to stay up, we're going to switch, hit repeat, and then switch legs. So the main thing is make sure you have your footing taken care of, all right? So make sure you stagger so you're in a position that you don't have to worry about your foot every time you step back. Fantastic. 
Okay, so the last one we're going to do is, you know, we're always talking about functional movement screen. So we actually, if you're familiar with it, there's a cook squat. Well, we actually are going to incorporate the cook squat on the plate. So we're going to go a little longer duration. So this is going to be 30 hertz, 60 seconds, and we're going to go low. So it's really kind of a four-step process. So the first process is a toe touch. One, she is now going just as good drop her glutes into a squat position. That's two. She's going to lift up with one arm for three. She's going to lift up the opposite arm for four, and up she goes. So technically, it is a five-step movement. So she's going to continue to repeat this process for the duration of 60 seconds. What I like to do at times is just stagger, just when you come back down, just switch arms, just so you're on top of just knowing one is kind of going up. So she'll go right, left, and then up. And then when she goes back down, she'll go left, right, and back up. But it's a little too complicated. Uh, just stay with one arm and just switch. All right, so we're gonna do that for 60 seconds. So that is a full duration cook squat, a little bit longer. It's a great movement pattern. And we wanna thank uh, Thomas Knox at BP Dallas for really helping us out with this workout. So go to our Facebook page, Download the whole workout. These were just some samplings, just to kind of give you a taste of what this might be for somebody with knee issues, and we have those clients, right? So hopefully, yeah, well, next, time right should, next time we'll turn the plate on. So I want to thank you, for, keep joining. We have some great stuff in, 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 uh, coming up. So have a great day, and we'll see you soon.